What's up everyone? This is the Raw Truth coming back with part two. Now to explain this even more, here's what people have to understand. Yes, I'm going to go on record and say, yes, we all fall. You know, I hear that all the time. We all fall and make mistakes and we want God to forgive us. Correct, but there is what is called somebody who is willing sinly, or willingly sin. Like if I trip up and did something and made a mistake and I get in an argument with someone and I, it got so heated, I may cuss them out and say, fuck you, bitch, uh, the hell with you, and, and probably hit them because it got heated. Now, I realized what I did was wrong, right? I said I'm sorry and stuff. That was in the passion. But when you on purposely premeditate, take boys overseas and have sex with them and you call yourself a bishop, that's premeditated. That's a sin willingly. You have to understand the difference between the two. You have to understand that. Sometimes people say things that hurt people's feelings and they didn't mean it. Oh, I didn't mean it. My bag, my bag. And you're doing the works to make sure that you operate in brotherly love or you operate in sisterly love. Let me ask you a question. People who love these so-called pastors. Let me ask y'all a question. Are they doing that? Hey, did Eddie Long do that? Got all these so-called pastors and bishops stealing from y'all every single day or every single Sunday through tithes and offerings. Oh, make sure you tithe your 10%. And if you tithe your 10%, you know, you're going to be good with God so you can go to heaven. But they robbing you because tithes was always food. I don't know if I should do a uh, session on the tithes. Uh, matter of fact, Anybody who wants me to do a little lesson on the ties on this channel, let me know and I'll do it. Eddie Long is still, you know, when he, uh, uh, he's still um, having his people tie 10% of the income. So how can he repent when he's still robbing y'all? He hasn't came clean about his sin in this situation he hasn't came clean as far as that, a lot of people know you know when when you pay out a huge settlement and stuff uh-huh and that settlement that he paid with those boys came with the gag order see folks don't know this came with the gag order and the gag order is that they cannot explain the details of the case so he bought that settlement was buying the silence of those boys so now nobody can get the true story of, of what happened because it's, they they have to be quiet about it that's extortion that's a sin but then folks always talking about man you're happy why y'all happy just to see these pastors and bishops go down you know it's it's wrong for you to rejoice over that let me tell your dumb asses something i want y'all to fucking listen and listen now anybody that sits up there and do damage to my community and the most high is judging them I rejoice. I don't give a fuck who it is. I don't care if it's the white man. I don't care if it's the police officers. I don't care who it is. Judges, even if it's our people. You want to be a cancer to my community and you refuse to change? Well, guess what? I rejoice. Why? Because we all rejoice when our enemy is getting dealt with. There's no different than... Whenever you're in the courtroom, let's go back. Go back to the courtroom. That guy murdered somebody that you love or somebody in your family. And the jury came back. Have the jury reached agreement. Or meet, uh, reach the verdict, excuse me. We the jury find this defendant, so-and-so, guilty of first degree murder guilty 
of extortion, guilty. And when you're hearing that word guilty being shot out, guilty from the jury, uh, from the jury, People get what? They get relieved. They're getting joy. Why are they getting joy? Because their murderer is going to have to answer for his or her crimes. And then what do the judge do? The judge will do something as to what? Recommend the appropriate uh, sentence that's suitable to the crime. <clears throat> so what are you going to hear? Well, because you murdered these two people, you are a coward. You are a punk. You sat up there and did this. You sat up there and do that. You are no good to the community. My gosh, these judges are saying the same thing that I'm saying. No good to the community. And he continues to belittle him. Why? Because you have to belittle someone to make you see, to, uh, you have to belittle someone who is always messing up and murder them to bring joy to that person. Oh, he's standing up. Oh, yeah, he's standing up to, for, for us. Yes, judge, and something. Nobody ever corrects these judges and say, wait a minute, judge, you can't say that. Well, judge not be not judge. Oh, nobody ever says that to these judges. But some of the comments have said that to me. Well, getting joy. You get joy that any Long is going down. You doggone right. Because when the judge says, I sentence you to 25 years to life, or I sentence you to death, what do we see in these fucking courtrooms? People clapping, right? Don't we see people clapping? Don't we see people even shouting hallelujah? How the fuck you going to sit up there and have that attitude but shout hallelujah in the courtroom? Huh? Going to have an attitude we shouldn't rejoice over the downfall of these satanic preachers who have lied to y'all, who have stolen from y'all, who didn't teach the laws and tell you how to go by the law, that tell you how to live, tell you how to eat, talk about brotherly love, talk about sisterly love, but yet... You want to be for them and say we shouldn't rejoice. Well, then nobody should record in the, uh, rejoice in the courtroom whenever their murderer is brought to justice and then he's getting or she's getting 25 years to life or the death sentence. People shouting, hallelujah, yeah, thank you, Jesus, hallelujah, thanks, get what you deserve, Ooh, I feel good, that justice has been served, he's going to go to prison, or, he, or he's, he has a death penalty, you know, I thank God this, I thank God that, you know, we rejoice, you know, we'll bring some closure, but we can never get our loved ones back, do you not understand what y'all saying? Y'all rejoicing over the fact that y'all got justice. So why the fuck can, raw, can the raw truth, why the fuck can I not rejoice that them boys are getting their justice because you, Bishop Eddie Long, failed them. You, Bishop Eddie Long Church, failed them. You, $2 whorehouse you call church, failed these boys. No, uh, who reached out for them boys? See, you have to understand... <clears throat> When the justice system fails and don't give you justice, the Most High got the perfect justice for you. The, the perfect justice for your ass. And when it comes, yes, I'm rejoicing. You know why? Because we got a lot of boys that Eddie Long has fucked in the ass, sucked their dick, had them little boys suck his dick. We have a lot of boys fucked up. And the only thing that y'all can worry about is Eddie Long. Shame on you. Shame on you. <clears throat> All these people broke in Creflo Dollar's church. Eddie Long's church. Bishop T.D. Jake. Oh, fuck that. T.D. Jake's church. All these people that are broke, losing their homes, taking a bus, so they, but they're paying tithes and they're sowing money seeds, hoping to get a blessing. Nobody's upset that they're getting robbed of their money. Folks, we got a lot of satanic thieves in the pulpit. And the only one that y'all concerned about is them? No, when these pastors go down, I'm rejoicing. 
I'm going to rejoice. And the ones who made comments and understand where I'm going, my subscribers are rejoicing too. Because you know why? We told you. We warned you. All this shit is going to go down. And I'm going to say it again. I have perfect hatred for every single so-called church. Even the churches who claim to be not like that, they, are, they have the 501c3 and they're teaching that tithing doctrine too. You, you know what I'm saying? That's why I have a perfect hatred for the church because that's what Christ got on the uh, Pharisees and the scribes for. Uh, for uh, omitting the uh, weightier matters. Yeah, you did this. You tied your cumin and your anus. Yeah, and your herbs and your mint. Yeah, you tied, but you have omitted the weightier matter, which means just because you're tithing don't mean crap. A false balance is an abomination, and you're not giving any balance to people. Christ had that same problem with the scribes and the Pharisees, and now the scribes and the Pharisees are in your pulpit, but you love them while Christ is against them. <coughs> you people got to wake up. A lot of my subscribers have already woken up. And I'm glad to see some black woman, you know, <laughs> looking at it. And it, it stunned me that, you no, know, some black women are speaking up against Eddie Long. They are speaking up. Some black women are. And my hat's off to you, black woman. I just need you, black woman, to get in the word and learn how to educate these black girls growing up in the street. Because a lot of times we have poor excuse of black women who call themselves mothers who have ruined our houses. Majority of our homes and our community are nothing but get tunnel based. And we need you, black women, to stand up. We need you, black women, to tell these black little girls to stop leaving the house with Spanish on and dress in modest apparel my generation failed my gener no I can't say my generation failed the generation before me failed we have to see their failures and we have to work very hard to make sure we don't be just like the old school because the old school ain't nothing but old fools they have nasty bad attitudes and it's these old school women who sitting up there in these two dollar whorehouses they call church sitting up there and force us to go to that same church to get falsely indoctrinated to effeminate us Folks, this is a bigger picture here. That's why they can't talk about God and Christ the way God and Christ is talked about. Because when you study God and you study Christ very, very much, God is severely patriarch. God is severely patriarch, and so is Christ. Christ always dealt with the men, and he hardly dealt with women. He hardly dealt with women. You can only name maybe five or six women that Christ ever dealt with. Where are those five or six women right now? That's who I'm looking for. Well, why you talk about black women a lot? Be I talk about black women because it's love. Shoot, what you want a rapper to talk about you? Hey, they talk about you all the time, but I'll talk about you because I want you black women to change. You change and come back and, and, and start doing what you need to do and start accepting good men we can build a community on that, one family at a time. And before you know it, the good seed will start to wipe out the bad seeds. The problem in our community is we got a lot of bad seeds, and these bad seeds are supporting the Eddie Longs. And Bishop TDJs, can't you see the fucking connection? So yes, I rejoice what's going down with Eddie Long. He lied on God, and that's one thing, too, which you have to understand. A major point, you should be mad at Eddie Long. I mean, you should be mad there. What you should do is be mad with Eddie Long and T.D. Jakes disrespecting your God in Christ. I believe that that's what you should be mad at, what you should be angry at. You should be angry at that. And if you're not angry at that, then that makes you 
a poor excuse and no good and not fit to be in my community. As a matter of fact, if you're in any mega church and you support that past so-called pastor, get the fuck out of our community and don't even comment on any issues of our community because regardless of whether you like it or not, you are part of it. You are part of the problem, which means you're not of the solution. I'm of the solution, which is why you have a problem. I understand that righteousness and evil can, uh, and evilness cannot be set up together. Can't have a government of righteousness and evilness because this land and this system is run by wicked people. But the only way is to touch everyone and teach them and edify them how to be righteous. That way while we walk and we can make sure that we're supporting each other to counterattack the wickedness and evil that's in our community. So can Eddie Long repent? All depends on it. If he does, he has to come clean about everything and let everybody know how he really got rich. Because I remember a guy said, well, he's going to die rich. That's stupid. Nobody dies rich. Rockefeller, that guy Rockefeller, he didn't, a uh, long time ago, he said, man, if he can only eat hot dogs, he loved hot dogs, he was so sick that he said he'll give away his all of his wealth just for him to eat hot dogs. They may have died, and he may be dying with a whole bunch of money, stolen money. But the soul is so bankrupt that he's poor. I'm richer than Eddie Long because my soul's not gone. I didn't sell my soul. And I'm not going to do abominational things and lie to people about the tithes, lie to people about the offerings, lie to people about the laws being done away with. I'm not going to do all of that. So even though Eddie Long and them got more money than me, let me tell you something. I got my soul. <clears throat> I got my soul. I'm more free than Eddie Long because Eddie Long, if he breaks the oath, they're going to kill his ass. If he breaks the oath, they're going to kill his ass. Remember I told you about Bill Cosby? He broke the oath, and that's why he's getting his ass handed to him. So you can't use that, well, Eddie Long's rich and you're a hater. Uh-uh. I would not want to be in Eddie Long's shoes. I don't want to make money the way he makes money. I'm going to do it honestly. Till then, let me hear what everybody else has to say. You know, I'm going to leave this alone. I'm going to leave the Eddie Long thing alone unless somebody wants me to go into detail or in depth of something or an update happened. An update happened where, you know, I, I just have to speak about it. But right now, I'm going to leave Eddie Long alone and deal with other things because I got... For, um, at least six more videos that I got to do that I got a common commentary on several other videos and once I do that I will that will be up that's going to be at least six or seven parts till then on the raw truth send your message your hate mail your you know dialogue let me see how you feel but for all of y'all who think that I'm going to cave because of your comments, because you think you telling me that I'm just uh, happy that he's going down or I'm jealous or I'm a hater. It's typical. You love your master Eddie Long. And according to that same Bible that you read, you all better look at Proverbs 9, 12. What does that say? If a leader hearkens unto lies, all of his servants are wicked. You're just angry because I'm exposing I'm exposing in righteousness because you love wickedness, which makes you no good. You scum of the earth. So come on, so-called Christians. Come on. I want to hear more. <laughs> come at me. <laughs> I'll destroy you. I'm the raw truth. Peace.